Welcome, my name is Brandon. I am your host. Let's get started. The Ottawa Senators played against the New York Rangers in New York. In the past nine games in New York, the Senators are 8-0-1. So this team should be in the bag, right? Not necessarily. Later on in the first period, a power play goal from from Brian McDonough off the point, assisted by Keith Yandel and Chris Kreider, to make it 1-0 Rangers on the power play, like I said. Four minutes later on the power play, after Mark Mathot was hitting the boards, uh, the Senators got a bench penalty. So Hoffman uh, was on, went to the penalty box for the for the penalty. I don't agree with the call whatsoever. He was like cross checked face forward into the boards, uh, into the bench uh, was Mark Mathot. No penalty there. The Senators somehow got the penalty, and then Derek Broussard and the Rangers capitalized on it. This is by Ryan McDonough and Rick Nash, and that was two nothing Rangers at the first. But in the second period, midway through, Mark Mathot fired it, and that was assisted by Shane Prince and his first career National Hockey League assist for David Dzernski, so congratulations. It looked like Chris Neal tipped this one, but he did not, as any any other um, any other camera view uh, showed that he clearly did not touch the puck. But he was in that, then he had a good presence, and he was a big part of the goal, considering he was screening... Henrik Lundqvist, who didn't know where it was for a split second, and that during that split second, the puck went between his legs. So that was a great goal by Mark Bethot, but a better play and read by by Chris Neal of his positioning. And then, in the third period, Derek Broussard just walked right in and fired it like a bullet, like a slap shot bullet, past Anderson to make it 3-1. Anderson visibly upset as he's his reaction was, he was visibly upset. He was like, he's leaned down and like hit a stick. And he had the right to be. His defense let him down on that play. That goal was assisted by Ryan McDonough, who has had a three-point night, and Dan Girardi. With the minutes to go, Jasper Fast shot a fast puck into the empty net and fired it home. 4-1 Rangers win. And for the first time in nine games, the Sanders lose at Madison Square Garden with a final score of 4-1. to one. So, the first period... We were not good whatsoever. Two goals, bad penalties, bad discipline. Second and third period, we only got one goal out of the next 40 minutes. But plenty of chances. Henrik Lundqvist was robbing this Rob Dzernski and robbed a few other players. We played a very good game after the second and third period. We were trying, we were trying, and the king was in net. So what do you want? Our next game is against the Florida Panthers and against Roberto Luongo. So hopefully we can capitalize against Luongo. Because let's be honest here, he's not as good as Henrik Lundqvist. He's still a very good goalie, though. But with the chances we had tonight, I feel confident, considering the Panthers in their past six games, they've won five times. Five times in a row, and then they lost tonight. So that's a hot team right now. It will be a tough game. But I think uh, we have the confidence and the skill, considering how we played tonight. We only got one goal, but we, we could have got like five goals. So the way we played tonight, I, I feel like we should be able to play a good game against Florida. Now, some update on Kyle Turris. That leg injury looked like he was going to be out for like the rest of the season. Somehow, he didn't play like the vintage Kyle Turris we know, but he was actually in the game. He won a few face-offs. That's great news. I don't know how he does it. I do not know how he does it. Kyle Turris was in the game. He got a few shots in that, won a few face-offs. It's just great to have him in the lineup. So, we'll have more updates on that at SenseOff1992 for live tweeting updates of the games and breaking news, of course. Now, the Florida Panthers game is on Tuesday, December 8th, 2015, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on RDS and TSN5. The Florida Panthers are 13-10-4, and the Senators are now 14-8-5. So, I'll see you next time. Follow us on Twitter, at SenseOff1992, for live tweeting updates uh, and breaking news. Like us on Facebook at SenseOff. Add us to your circles to Google Plus at Sensok. Click the big red button together and subscribe to us. Like this video. Share this video wherever you share cool stuff. See you in the next video. Happy Hanukkah, by the way. I'll see you in the next video. 4-1 Rangers loss uh, against the Rangers. And the next game, December 8th, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time against the Panthers. See you in the next video. Happy Hanukkah. Go, Suns, go.